The soaring CN Tower is seen from the waters of Lake Ontario. Along with the rest of beautiful downtown Toronto, our setting today. Thanks for tuning in this Wednesday. 2K Sports presents the NBA. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge will be joining. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, Clay Thompson is capable of being a... He loves playing there, D.A., and they love him. Thank you so much. Now, Golden State's starting five. Green and Cauley Stein are down low. Curry and Russell are the backcourt set, and it's Thompson in at the three. And for Toronto, Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Ari out there with Fred Van Vliet, and it's Powell in at the three spot. Green passes to Thompson. And here is Cauley Stein. Marcus Saul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Could be a transition free for all tonight. Brent, what's your feeling about going for the open three on the break rather than taking it in for a higher percentage shot in a layup? Well, nowadays we know that the three pointer actually means more for any given team. What well, I'm analytically, you're right. Analytically, yes. but Kevin, what I'm interested in is on a given night like this where we're going to see a ton of threes. What's the decision making of the guy with the ball? Sometimes it'll be the point guard. It might be a wing player, but how smart is he at finding the right shooter at the right time at the three point line on these fast breaks? Making those big decisions. You're right. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Marcus Gasol. Here's Ibaka. It's good from long range. Ibaka's got the first bucket of the night, a three-pointer for Toronto. Mostly a dunker early in his career. Ibaka has moved his game further out to the perimeter, which has dropped his percentages but raised his value as a floor-spacing big. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. A beautiful assist. Siakam trying to free himself up, and that one goes long. Stolen by Van Vliet. Lowry for three. The Raptors rebound. Second chance shot. Baca against Green. Pass to Powell. Just five to shoot. That shot misses. The Warriors go the other way with it. Thompson right side. Wide open look. Here's Cauley Stein. The layup missed. I'm not sure where the lack of focus comes in there, Kevin. That's not like him. The defense is close, but there's enough space to score. Moves back up. And the rejection by Cauley Stein. Cauley Stein in great position to reject that shot. Green. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Powell against Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. Nice to see when Clay Thompson's in attack mode. He's got defenses running at him every night to chase him off the three-point line. Well, whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Draymond Green is one of the more unique players in the league. There really isn't anyone else like Draymond. I mean, who does everything for a team but score? I mean, not only can he play all positions on both ends of the floor, but also to be the emotional leader, truly a special player. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. It's Curry. That time on the assist right, 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 by right. Russell. Well, the confidence that Steph has on the inside. Once he beats his primary defender, he can finish over the top of the bigger defenders. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And for Steph Curry, certainly one of the best to ever play. Iguodala said last season, uh, Brent, that he's already the second best point to ever play in pro basketball. Well, high praise from Andre Iguodala. And, and why wouldn't you talk about Steph that way? You tally up MVPs and titles and his impact on the game and what he's done to change the, the way the game is played. The case for Steph Curry to be the top point guard ever is getting stronger and stronger every season. The guy that he's going to have to knock off the top of that shelf, I think, for most everybody who's been basketball fans for a long time is one Magic Johnson. And it's Russell missing. Raptors trailed by three. And here we go. Count that one from Van Vliet. 
and so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. And now we've got the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Hollis Jefferson's checked in for Norman Powell. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State. Alec Burks comes in for D'Angelo Russell. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. 